hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i am going to show how you can troubleshoot the issue bluetooth on or button is missing or bluetooth not working on your windows 10 pc or laptop so first of all let me show you the error first if i go to bluetooth and other devices setting on my windows 10 you can follow these steps in windows 11 as well so when i try to add the bluetooth here so you can see the error could not connect and bluetooth on or button is also missing on my windows so if you are facing the same issue this video is for you i will show you step by step how you can troubleshoot the issue so without wasting your time let's get started and fix the bluetooth not working issue so step number one is to troubleshoot the windows troubleshooter so you just need to click on here and you need to type here troubleshoot setting and you need to click this option in the windows 11 you should be able to see the other troubleshooter click on additional troubleshooter here and under this options you should be able to see the bluetooth here so this is the inbuilt feature of windows 10 and 11 to troubleshoot the issue automatically let this detect the problem and will fix automatically but in my case device does not have the bluetooth so this troubleshooter does not able to fix my issue so let's move on to the now next method if you are also unable to fix this issue with this step we have to check the services here open the services as admin you can also press windows plus r button and type there services.msc as shown on the screen and click on ok so once you are click on services.msc you need to click anywhere on it and press b on your keyboard we have three bluetooth services here bluetooth audio gateway bluetooth support service and bluetooth user service these three services are essential to run the bluetooth properly so you need to right click on there and you need to go to its properties and set the starter type to automatic and start the service if it is not running if you found these are services already running so you can restart them by this way this will refresh the setting you are not able to change this manual trigger one you have to click on only start or stop it you can restart the service once now let me check if the bluetooth is working or not okay in my system bluetooth is still not working so let's move on to the third method guys if two solutions are failed on your system so we have to open the device manager in order to check whether the bluetooth driver is installed there or not so sometime bluetooth device can hidden in the device manager so you need to click on your hostname computer hostname then click on view and show hidden devices so still bluetooth is not there guys so if bluetooth is still not there so we have to manually add the bluetooth here once so how you can add it we have to go to here action then click on add legacy hardware then click on next then click on install hardware that manually selected from the advance click on next select all devices hit on next option and it will retrieve all the hardware information and all the hardware you have inside your windows so we need to scroll down and look for one by one and on the right hand side guys we need to look for any bluetooth services or not especially look for the intel or realtek related drivers here and see intel corporation and see if you are able to find the bluetooth driver here or not
especially look for the Microsoft and look for Bluetooth related software here So I'm unable to find all the Bluetooth here. One another filter you can see here is you can filter on the network adopters. Then click on next. And this will give you the filter so that you can recheck all the information once on the right hand side and look for any Bluetooth driver is installed here or not. If you are unable to find any Bluetooth related service or driver here so I have the fix for you also guys don't worry about that okay so we are unable to find out the Bluetooth here once you find out somehow if you need to click on that Bluetooth driver and click on next and it will be installed on your system and now you should able to see the Bluetooth option here you can also click on here and click on scan for hardware changes if anything goes wrong on your windows but you can see in scan for hardware changes also my bluetooth is not showing up here so don't worry we have another fix for you we have to install the bluetooth driver for our windows so go to google or whichever browser which you use and on the search you need to type here intel bluetooth driver and go to first link of Intel official website and hit here the latest one Windows 10 and 11 and you need to click on this option accept terms and conditions click on here directly we can install it when the prompt opens you need to click on yes option guys so click on here next click on next accept so you need to select here the complete one click on install so you can also try out the first intel one and if the intel one is unable to fix the issue so you can look for your serial number and then go to manufacture website let's say like this dell drivers go to first link and select your product here let me show you the serial number example guys so that you can see these are the serial numbers written here serial number you need to put it here and then search it and look for bluetooth driver accordingly so let me restart my windows guys and i will see whether the issue is fixed or not so let me restart and update here also i have the update here so let me restart and update you also need to do it if anything pending windows update you have you have to install all of them so my laptop is installing the windows update so let me try out now if bluetooth is working or not so you can see here guys I got the Bluetooth and my issue has been fixed now. So if your issue is also fixed, you can see here. Then you need to hit like, subscribe and share. Also comment. If your issue is still not resolved, you need to shut down your laptop or system. And we are going to power flush the system. This will discharge and drain all the socket errors from your motherboard. You just need to remove all the cables including your power adop adopter if anything is connected with your system and from PC you need to remove the power cord as well as well as all the external cables and we need to press power button for 30 seconds and if you have removable battery you need to remove that and press and hold the power button for almost 30 seconds do the same in the system
now you can release the power button leave your system 1 to 2 minutes and once you leave your system for 1 to 2 minutes connect all the cables including the power cable and turn on the system and see if that fix your issue hopefully your issue will be resolved after that so these are the fixes to fix the issue guys bluetooth is not working if your bluetooth is still not working i am putting the link into my description box which you can follow 20 steps to troubleshoot this issue so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching